thy side, no gracious words we A reading from the beginning of the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy to the church of the Thessalonians. In God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers, unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance in hope of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. You know what sort of people we were among you for your sake and every place your faith in God has gone forth, so that we have no need to say anything, for they themselves openly declare about us what sort of reception we had among you, and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God, and to await his Son from heaven, whom he raised from the dead, Jesus, who deliver us from the coming wrath. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, the Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song, a praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in the festive dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbre and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the, he adorns the lowly with victory. The Lord takes delight in his people. 
Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord is our God and his people. Alleluia. 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 My sheep hear my voice, says the Lord. I know them, and they follow me. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. Amen. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Amen. Jesus said to the crowds and to his disciples, Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You lock the kingdom of heaven before men. You do not enter yourselves, nor do you allow entrance to those trying to enter. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites! You traverse sea and land to make one convert. And when that happens, you make him a child of Gehenna, twice as much as yourselves. Woe to you, blind guides, who say, if one swears by the temple, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gold of the temple, one is obligated. Blind fools, which is greater, the gold or the temple that made the gold sacred? And you say, if one swears by the altar, it means nothing. But if one swears by the gift on the altar, one is obligated. Your blind ones, which is greater, the gift or the altar that makes the gift sacred? One who swears by the altar, swears by it, and all that is upon it. One who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. One who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who is seated on it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord. Good morning, dear people of God. Welcome to this holy sacrifice of Mass. We thank God for the gift of life He has given to us amidst the catastrophes that are happening in the world. God has still been kind to you and me and given us a chance to celebrate this holy sacrifice of Mass. Today, the liturgy of the Word is inviting you and me to live a life of integrity. A true Christian ought to live a life of witness to integrity. That my inner self must be seen in the community, must be recognized in the community. Today, Paul gives us an example of this true living. He says, he is a new Paul and is no longer Saul. And this he testifies by living a life of witness to integrity of the faith that he has received. Surely, as human beings, as Christians, we do not need to introduce ourselves. Say, I am Father, 
you're a doctor, you're a Christian, you're a nurse, you're part of Fuse Parish Worker. No. What we do speaks volumes for us. One is able to tell whom I am just because of what I say and do. Doing and actually professing that which I accepted to be. In this, we are able to see that they usually say in English that actions speak louder than words. Our words do less, but what we do always speaks volumes in our lives. When we are not connected to what we profess, to what we teach, we become hypocrites. When we don't practice what we teach, we become hypocrites. And we are not far from the, from the Pharisees and the scribes that Jesus talks about today. We become an impediment for others to enter into the kingdom of heaven. It is our prayer today that we may be a bridge for others to see Christ. We may be a bridge for others to see God. Above all, integrity in its sincere sense means being consistent, consistent in doing that which is right and practicing my faith. May this be our prayer that may be true Christians who live a life of witness to integrity. Let us bring our prayers to God, seeking what we need to be faithful to His ways. For the Holy Catholic Church, may the Lord continue to bless her as a pure and faithful presence in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear For elected officials, may they be em emboldened by God's divine providence in working for the good of all. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, for the sick, the marginalized, and the oppressed, may the Lord graciously grant them healing and relief. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear For those of us gathered here today, may we be guided by the spirit of wisdom and understanding in all that we do. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. beloved dead, may they experience the true peace of Christ in the heavenly kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for our special intentions, the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, Thank you for making us your sons and daughters. Hear our prayers this day as we bring them to you in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ.
Fáid, ami ott miért fönt volt a gondolmai kifárban. O Lord, who gave for yourself a people by adoption, through the one sacrifice offered once for all, this too gracious will now be prayed, the gifts of unity and peace in your church, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is only right and just and eternal our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, and Almighty and eternal God. For in the goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned in mercy, you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him, the angels praise your majesty, dominions and all, and the powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim who worship together with exaltation. May our voices be praised joyfully with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord of hosts, heaven and earth are full of glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chance of salvation, giving it thanks that you will have to have been your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with the Francis, our Pope, and Timothy, Cardinal, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters are falling asleep in the hope of resurrection and all of that in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Her Masons, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the Blessed Joseph, our spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints of his youth for the ages. And the merit be who heirs to eternal life may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> At the Savior's common and for my divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, 
that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, save the apostles, peace I live in my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold the human who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Let us pray.
Complete within us, O Lord, we pray the healing work of your mercy and graciously perfect and sustain us so that in all things we may please you through Christ our Lord. Amen. I know some of you may be wondering why I'm still around. I was supposed to have left yesterday, but you know how the weather was yesterday led to a cancellation of flight and it happened that my flight too was cancelled to New Orleans. So again I've made another booking for Wednesday. So my flight is due on Wednesday at 4 p.m. still at the Newark Airport in New Jersey. So Pray for me that at least I it may go on well. But only thank you for accepting us, accepting me here, and always being hospitable. May God bless you abundantly. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. The Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. Send Michael the Archangel. Send us, Father, be our defense.